I found staying organized with my classes is critical for reducing stress. Here's the easy method that I've used to stay organized with my study schedule and succeed in my classes. First, I like to organize my notes all in a single place in my note-taking tool, and I organize this in my sidebar. I'll go and add a new document for my classes here. Then in the sidebar, I'll press plus next to classes and add a document for each of the classes I'm in. Then whenever I'm about to go to a lecture, I can just press plus on that class and immediately have a new document with that lecture's name. Step two is actually taking the notes and making flashcards. Once I've set up my sidebar, I try to jump into this as quickly as possible. I'll start by downloading my lecture notes and then uploading them with the lecture so that I can have them both side by side. Within the document, I'll then take a mixture of normal notes and flashcards. My goal is to turn as many of them into flashcards as possible as the act of doing this helps me to encode the ideas better and then it just makes it a lot easier for me to practice them long-term. As soon as I add a flashcard, you can see that the study button appears here at the top of the page. Or I can click on my flashcards button on the left to see all of my study documents. Then step three of my study schedule is prioritization amongst different lectures that I want to review for, upcoming exams, and between my different classes. I'll frequently look over all of the classes that I'm in, which you can now concisely do from this flashcards page here. Documents appear here only if they contain flashcards, so this is a nice, concise view of everything that I need to study. You can also see how much I've mastered cards in each document, and which I'm still learning, which helps me know where to focus my practice. By default, any new documents that I add have no priority, so it's important to prioritize them according to your study goals. Here, I'll go and set this current semester's class to an active state, and I'll move some of my prior semester classes to a maintaining state. Any cards that are in these active decks will appear first in my global queue, and any cards in maintaining decks will appear after that. This helps me to focus on what's actually most important to my current study goals. Sometimes I'll go and pause one of these documents. Pausing it means that its cards will be removed from my global queue so that I don't have to think about them or spend time on them anymore. I found that it's really important to feel in control of my study experience. I hate wasting time on cards that don't feel important or aren't really relevant to my current goals. Here, I just let myself either pause or disable these cards so that I can focus my practice on things that I really want to know. You should let yourself do this somewhat liberally, pause things if they don't feel important to you, and then go and reactivate them or move them back to maintaining later. Of course, it's important that you do keep the things active that are important to your goals. During semesters, while heavily focused on school, I practiced almost exclusively from my global queue, which takes flashcards from documents anywhere in my account and brings them into a central location. I found this useful for building a habit because I didn't need to think about which documents I was practicing each day. I could just trust the space repetition algorithm to bring the most important ones to mind now so that I could avoid forgetting them. This is also even easier now by being able, by being able to prioritize some of them as active or maintaining or no priority. Sometimes my global queue would get backed up, but I would always try to bring this back down in a few days or in a few weeks. And in as much as possible, maintain my streak of daily practice. I don't think that this is the right approach for everyone, but when I was really intensely trying to do well in classes, this worked well for me and helped avoid me getting lazy, which would sometimes happen more over the summers where I would slip and lose this habit. These days, I prefer to practice more from individual documents because I'm not actively in a semester. Here, this enables me to focus my practice on what I'm really thinking about right now and what ideas I want to be able to draw on. For example, if I've been thinking mostly about programming or software engineering recently, I'll practice from those decks. Or if I'm trying to improve my health or my sleep, I'll go and focus on my self-development decks here, and so on. I've often noticed myself drawing on ideas that I'm practicing from my cards and really applying this. Step number four is day-to-day -day prioritization. It's one thing to set a document to active, it's another thing to actively go and practice that each day. I've always only been able to maintain my study habit if I associate this with something else that's routine in my life. Currently, that routine is taking a 40-minute train ride every few days, and that's my time to bang out my flashcards and hit my daily target. At prior times in my life, that's been right before bed, or during lunch, or at the beginning of a class. At some point, I had a daily elliptical habit where I would use the elliptical and do my cards at the same time. You need to find something that's right for you that's a consistent routine that you can attach this to. 
Generally, I find that there's a lot of resistance in my head before I start a study session. The best answer that I found to this is to accept this as a signal that my mind is cluttered and I need to go and write down whatever I was thinking about, generally either to-dos or questions or just ideas bouncing around. Once I do this, I can jump into studying and then I try to always grind out my full daily target in a single session. You can customize your daily target from the goal page here, just by dragging the slider. Then when you're practicing, you can see this progress bar automatically increasing until it fills up and you get rewarded with some dogs. When I hit that daily target, I generally feel great, like my head is full of knowledge and I'm actually progressing towards my study goals. Maintaining this space repetition habit is the important part here, but there's also an important number five, which is preparing for exams or reactivating this knowledge right before you're going to have to apply it. Here, I'll generally just go and study the entire nested document for the class that I'm preparing for. Sometimes I'll add an exam document in the class folder and then link the related lectures or topics that appear on the exam from the source bar here. These will appear when I'm practicing this document automatically, pulling all of their flashcards together. So that's it. I've used this organization method for years, both across various classes and learning projects. Before stepping away from this video, try to decide what you're gonna link your practice habit with, be it during a specific travel or during lunch or right when you're waking up or whatever works well for you. Then once you've done that, go arrange your sidebar and then just jump right back into studying.